Right now, warehouses are full of all kinds of materials. You might see a pair of gloves and then a board game and then a spare part for your lawnmower and then maybe even whole tractors and stuff stored up inside of there. But what if you had a warehouse that didn't contain anything at all? So a digital warehouse is an idea that's been around for quite a while, and it's actually not new or unique to 3D printing. It's been used by the CNC machinists for forever. But the problem with digital warehouses is that they're not very easy to implement. This is how it normally goes. A digital warehouse is when you take all of the designs inside of your company, all of the 3D models of parts that you have, and then you upload them to the cloud or some service, and then they're just stored there. When you need one of those parts, you just click on it and say, order now one, and then that part is sent to whatever type of machinery makes it, that part is made, and then it is delivered to you. Now, historically, this has always been a terribly slow process because if it was a CNC machine part, it has to go through a workflow, take a few days, might get delivered in a week or two. And if it was a 3D printing process, it would follow the same type of lead time because 3D printing historically has always been real slow. So most people don't utilize digital warehouses because when you want a spare part, you want it right now. That's the whole point of a warehouse. It is to be a means of distribution so that you store the parts off site, but when you need it, it just takes the shipping time to get to you. But now a digital warehouse is far more useful because 3D printing technologies have improved far enough to where they can produce a part in a day and then ship it out the next day, to where now the time to grow a part and throw it into a box takes almost as long as the time to pick a part and throw it into a box. So instead of having acres of shelves where associates wander down the rows and then pick a part and then ride a scooter back to the picking station where it's sorted, barcoded and everything else, Instead, they run down rows of printers and then they reach the printer that has the part that you just ordered on it. They pull the part off the machine and throw it into a box. Now you have a fully digital supply chain. You never have to hold inventory. You never have to have a warehouse and you never have to have a warehouse as big. Rather than having acres of storage, you just have to have the storage of that individual print facility. Here at Slant3D, when we implement a digital warehouse for any given company, what we do is they will send us all of their models and we will go through and do an engineering review of each one of those parts to make sure that A, it is printable and define any other sort of parameters for it. And then also just kind of quote it because a carbon fiber part is different from a ABS part. But once that process and that review process is done, and that process is done by many other companies who are working on this type of a problem, then those parts are uploaded to our system and there's basically a portal created for the client. We might do it through like Angled.io or through some other private commerce platform if it's a company who's wanting spare parts for their internal use. They might be a warehouser themselves or a distributor or manufacturer that just has a lot of custom machinery and they wanna be able to get those parts more easily than having to requisition an engineer every time to get the part made at the nearest CNC machine. So they send those parts to us, we create this portal, and then all their staff has to do is scroll through the catalog and buy the part. When the part is bought, it triggers one of our machines to fire up and grow the part. And then 24 hours later, that part would be picked from the machine, thrown into a box and shipped to the client. Again, never a warehouse, but kind of, it's more of a warehouse where the shelves make the product. That's what a digital warehouse is. Have a great day, everybody.